Hello there guys, Coaster Chal here, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we've got an extension to what we reported on a few days ago on Nemesis Subterra site and work taking place around the site uh, over at the Alton Towers Resort. Now we have some extra updates uh, according to MGSB underscore Insta. I've linked his Instagram in the description down below and the pictures are from him. So shout out to him, big fan of the channel. Thanks for uh, putting the pictures up and giving me the chance to use them uh, today. And uh, we're going to share what's been happening. There's some open doors and some very interesting stuff going down. So, um, as well as some extra information. So, can't wait to report all of that in this video. But, before we open up the Nemesis archive files, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Please go and use the stuff in the description down below. Please go and use social media links. Subscribe to all the social media links. Uh, go and submit your own video ideas using the Google Forms link. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the Nemesis Archive files and see what's come up in the archives this week. Access to the Nemesis Historical Archive has been authorised. Please be aware that all information held on the Phalanx database is regulated by international data protection protocols. So the first thing that went down the previous day, as well as uh, the this morning, was of course the question marks, and that was of co and you know we've seen this before, right? We've seen this in previous occasions. However, there's extra stuff that's going to back it up in a bit. But the question marks have popped up again now. Of course, there were question marks in previous years on this billboard outside Subterra, and my theory behind this one is, I feel like they were going to reopen this or bring it back to life in a new way in a previous year and I think with the COVID-19 pandemic I think it's definitely pushed some of the plans for the part back and I think this is definitely one of them so stay tuned because the question marks could definitely mean a lot more than they did uh, in previous years. For decades Phalanx has been delivering tactical security to sensitive research locations across the world. It has access to the latest satellite tracking technologies and boasts a 48-hour response time to any location on the globe. So as you can see in the next couple of shots, the next few shots uh, from the Instagram account, there's open doors. Uh, and apparently, according to the post, staff were seen around the site as well, which is very exciting indeed. And overall, I think this could be a wonderful uh, sign that we're going to see the return of Subterra with work taking place inside. The facility you are about to enter is one of Phalanx's most recent acquisitions, and potentially its most exciting. Phalanx was deployed to this location when excavations near the long-established Nemesis site revealed hidden cave systems extending for several kilometers below ground. And of course, finally a nice outside shot there of the whole attraction. And it's nice to see the, the outside look of the attraction and to potentially see you know, the return of Subterra. I think we're getting closer and closer, step by step, to seeing the return of this wonderful dart ride or the rebirth of the ride in a brand new way. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at the new updates on Nemesis Subterra. We have also heard rumours circulating and speculating that there is a possible 2022 return. And many other enthusiasts have heard uh, rumours flying around about a potential 2022 return for the ride. Uh, now, of course, like I said, we've shown the evidence to, to potentially back this up. Uh, staff were seen around the area, according to the Instagram post by this guy. Again, check out his Instagram in the description down below. All the photos are from him but he did report that the staff was seen spotted around the sites um, and we saw the things on there the question marks the open doors uh, you saw the uh, the cloth theming um, as well as the, the the main shot of the attraction after the, after we showed this shot of the attraction we showed you a bit of cloth theming from project 42 which I didn't describe um, so uh, you know it's, it's definitely very very exciting um, you know I, that, that cloth you know outside now uh, it's been removed from inside and, you know, it's very, very interesting to see all the Project 42 stuff being ripped out. And uh, maybe this is the return of Subterra or maybe, and this is a completely different route, maybe this is something for Scarefest. Maybe this is where a brand new maze is going to take place in, in the site. And, you know, with the COVID-19 restrictions, you know, I think it's around 17th of May. Uh, you know, there's, there's loads of things going down in the world on 17th of May. Funerals are going to have... 
um, like unlimited mourners apparently and you know the distancing restrictions are set to be lowered and scrapped on from the 17th of May and you know we're hearing all these different things with how many people have been vaccinated now and you know it's slowly but surely they're getting life back to normal and with that comes the the indoor stuff like the indoor attractions and the indoor experiences sort of being more opened up so i think buildings like subterra would not have been in use last scarefest because of the covid19 measures at the time but with the covid19 measures being lowered you know this is the door potentially to open up for more um buildings like subterra to be used for scarefest mazes uh, and use those cramped spaces same with creek freak massacre at thought park resort i expect that to come back for fright nights this year because you know it's, it's an indoor space it's quite you know narrow in some in most places and you know i think with the covid 19 restrictions being lowered i think it'll work with the with the current uh, place so i think it's very very interesting a scare fest route is definitely one reason it could go down however i think they're going to go down the permanent ride route and either not sub terror comes back uh or a brand new ride experience we've heard many different stories some people say the ride system is still in there some people say the ride system has been removed uh we don't know who to believe <laughs> um but we'll we'll see what happens i mean i'm expecting probably during the summer we'll see like a teaser or something uh if sub terror is coming back or uh, something's going into that building that's like a brand new theme i guess or maybe like a new use of the Tha the phalanx story uh, which we were speaking about in the last video a few days ago about this and um i think it's really interesting and i really like to see the look of that so uh there we go guys thank you very very much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and for now my name is coast child keep living the coast of life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a thrill day